Okay, so this time I'm going to tie uh, one of the Irish shrimp flies, and this is one that I think is one of the most beautiful of all of them. Uh, but it tends to be a bogey fly for some people, you'll either love it or hate it with regards to fishing. Uh, and this one is going to be uh, a version of the Wilkinson shrimp. So I have here, uh, this is a size 8. Esmond Drury Silver Treble uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of small silver oval tinsel I'm going to tie that in on the top and wrap that backwards no. There's a couple of different ways of doing tag on trebles. So the fiddly way is to wrap forwards like this. It's very difficult to get the turns to touch. What you'll probably find is that you have to use your fingernail to force them back. So you can wrap that forward and then tie it in. Or same as for the doubles. Can wrap backwards and you have to do a sort of a weave to get in through your points of your treble and then when I'm underneath what I'd do is I'd take it up and through the top two it's going across the middle of my tag and then tie across it and I noticed I tied it in a way up here rather than back down here so, because I don't want to get a big pile of bulk down there. Because I'm going to have to go back down that anyway to return my tensile to here. So I might as well use those turns to tie in another material. So what I like to do in the middle of my shrimp flies is in the middle of the tail is to put a couple of strands of crystal hair. So you can use this which is a straight gold crystal hair or you can use a little bit more mirage flash to it. So we take a strand of that, tie it in up here across its middle, then fold it back and then if you hold on to this as you wrap, I'm going to take that right back down here, but you notice I'm also tying in my oval tinsel from the first part of the tying. Now I'm between the points again, so I'm weaving, and I'll end up with a couple of strands sticking out the rear. Okay, so on this one then, the tail is a golden pheasant a red rump feather. So what I'm going to do is remove the fluff from that. And there are a couple of ways you can tie this in as well, but in this one I'm going to try and wrap it. It's quite difficult to wrap in through trebles. So what I'm going to do I take the tip of my feather and hold it between thumb and forefinger. And the next two fingers I'm going to trap the uh, stalk and then I'm going to reach around with my finger and I'm going to stroke all the fibres over onto one side and I'll end up with this which is a doubled hackle. Normally I'd pull the tip out on a normal hackle but on this you might as well use the tip of it. What I'd do is I'd leave that in the middle of the top part. Take one turn across it, fold it back on itself. This is fiddly, but get one or two turns over that just to get it tight in. Now I'll put the haggle players on. Uh, these feathers are prone to snapping, 
So, what I'll do is wrap it on. Just get the turns of hackle stalks touching each other. And I'm removing these turns here to get me back into my hackle. I'll put a turn across it. putting the stock up the shank of the hook and wrapping along. The reason for this is I want a, a good level base for tying on my body later. Okay, so that looks like a mess. You can take a double needle and you can pick through it or what you can do is to take your fly out of the vise, turn it towards yourself and blow pretty hard and that should blows all the fibers forward and then when they spring back they should be in position where they're meant to be and we put that back into the, the vise now we have our strands of crystal hair out here, so we'll just pull them back, measure them for length to the back of our longest uh, fibres, and snip that off, and that will then sit in the centre of our tail. Body on this one, uh, you can use uh, flat tinsel, you can use braid if you want, but I think this fly looks really well with uh, a wide oval tinsel, and here I'm going to use a a vivus. Uh, this is a medium, you can use large if you want. So, what I do is I'll cut a length of that off, and then I'm going to strip the core for a section of that. tying in on the exposed core will be neater and flatter. So I'll tie that in up there, put a few laps on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my tinsel back until the exposed core part is right at the very rear level with the tie in or tie off point of our hackle at the rear and then I'm going to tie back with my tie and silk. Nice and neat. I'm going to put some wax on that. I'm going to try and lay a nice, neat waxed thread base for that to lay on. Um, again, this personal preference, you can tie to the midpoint or what a lot of shrimp tires will do, will tie slightly beyond it, maybe two thirds of the way. Uh, it's up to yourself. To remove those. So, use your rotational portion of your vise just to make sure that your turn of tinsel, the first one, is nice and tight up to the hackle at the rear. And then go forward touching turns until the point where you want your middle hackle to be. Pull nice and tight. I'm going to wrap across itself. I'm going to try and grab the tinsel again and try and 
strip the the metal part off the core and remove that. Actually this one's double wrapped. That's so good. Okay. So then as before the core will be easier to tie in, it'll compress, whereas the tinsel with the actual tinsel on itself will not. Okay. Now, the uh, middle hackle on this one is a uh, magenta hackle, which I'm going to do here, hopefully, if these are big enough. Just to tie on a magenta badger hackle. So I'm going to strip off the flue, and double my hackle. Nip out the tip. Separate a few fibers. Place that up right tight up to the back of the tinsel and a couple of wraps across itself. We got our haggle pliers now. Magenta hackle. And then we lap across it. And I'm going to tie that hackle in forwards. Again, trying to make it all as neat and level as possible. And the front portion of this fly, same as the rear. So, as before, I'm going to strip. A little portion of the tinsel. And then as before apply it up and then pull it back through itself. So that it's starting just where I have trimmed the, the core back to. I'm going to remove those loose bits. So again, wax the thread. And make a nice even base. You don't want any steps basically where the tinsel will slip and leave gaps. As before, use the rotating part of your vise just to get the thing started. And once it's started, nice tight wraps. that off nice and close in on top of the shank. I'm going to use my nail just to force that last wrap back into place. Now I don't want that to slip out so I'm going to take a little bit of super glue and just run it along and thread and make a couple of wraps just to hold it in place. Now we want to put on uh, a blue badger hackle 
I'm just going to take a blue badger hackle and measure it up for length of fibre. itself wrap over that. And then take our hackle pliers. And just stroking those hackles into position as I wrap them. Go. Double it back on itself. Trim that off. And then I'm just forcing any fibers that are out of the out of whack back into position. And now we'll add some jungle cap. side of my cape. I'll put there. Uh, jungle cock length is a personal preference. Some people like the very short little eyes on shrimp flies. I prefer them to come back that they're just about touching the points of the treble. I think if they're longer than that then they might mask it and possibly interfere with hooking so I like them just to go back just to the where they're clipping the points and no more. side of the cape for here. I'll put on turn turn the fly towards myself so that I can check how level they are and then with my tweezers here I'm just gonna tweak that one a little bit for length. And now I'm gonna take a little bit more super glue, put it on the thread and take a couple of wraps back and that will fix those in position. And then I'm going to nick out the stalks of those. I'm going to add more super glue to my thread. And I'm going to build a nice neat, hopefully, of red thread. And finish the fly off like that. Now you can if you want the this is the dark red from the uni thread. So I'm just gonna use my super glue and the needle just to create Nice glossy head, and when it dries, I'll put on clear varnish. But what you can also do is to uh, overwrap this with uh, one of the glow bright flosses, and you'll get a much hotter head. But basically, that's it. That is a tinsel bodied version of a, a Wilkinson shrimp. And that's very good for fresh fish and even on the River Derg which is very peaty I know of people that uh, fish it all year round. Wilkinson shrimp.